Hi, I'm Lindsay from Life, Love & Sugar, and today we're making a classic homemade angel food cake. This angel food cake is super light, fluffy, and tender, and it comes together with only six ingredients. It's got amazing flavor and is way better than any store-bought version you could buy. So to get started, you're gonna have your flour. We're gonna add half of our sugar to it. It's just white granulated sugar and a little salt. Mix those together a little bit. We're gonna start and sift five times. This part's definitely a little tedious, but it's well worth it when you get that light and airy crumb. The next thing we're gonna do is start with our egg whites and whip those. You're gonna wanna use your mixer and your whisk attachment. We'll go ahead and start whipping these egg whites until they get a little bit frothy. All right, so we've got these bubbles on top. It's nice and frothy. So we're gonna add our cream of tartar and our vanilla extract. Vanilla extract adds flavor and the cream of tartar helps to make the egg whites more stable as they whip. We're gonna turn it up to medium speed. And from here, we're gonna add the remainder of the sugar. You wanna give about five to 10 seconds between each tablespoon that you're adding so you can give it time to incorporate into the egg whites. Once all of your sugar has been added, you're going to turn your mixer up to high speed. All right, let's see where they're at. All right, so now our egg whites are pretty stiff. They're standing straight up. Now we're going to add our flour mixture into our egg whites. We're going to add it in four parts just to be sure everything is still light and fluffy. And we're going to sift it as it's added. We're gonna gently fold it into our egg whites so that we don't deflate it as we're adding the flour. Generally, when you're folding something into something else, you're just kind of running your spatula around the outside and be careful not to deflate them. Once everything looks like it's well incorporated, we're done with that. You're gonna to wanna to use a tube pan for your angel food cake. It's gonna have this removable bottom. So we have these feet to help turn it upside down for cooling and we leave it ungreased so it doesn't fall out of your pan. So let's go ahead and add our egg white mixture. Such a nice looking fluffy batter. Just gets you so excited to eat it when it's done because you just know it's gonna be amazing. So once you've got your batter in your pan, I like to use my trusty offset spatula to spread it around evenly. All right, so you'll wanna pop it into a 375 degree oven and bake it for about 28 to 30 minutes. All right, so once your cake comes out of the oven, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over so that it cools upside down and doesn't deflate. So this is where the feet on the pan really come in handy as you flip it over. And as long as you didn't grease your pan, your cake should stay exactly where it's supposed to and you let it cool upside down for one hour. So once your cake has cooled, we're gonna flip it back over and it's time to remove it from the pan. I'll take my spatula and run it around the edge of the cake. And you can also do it on the inside of the pan. And then from there, we should just be able to lift it up and out of our pan. And, all right, so you're just gonna flip that over and out and onto your cake stand. From there, you can serve it just as it is. You can serve it with some whipped cream, fresh berries. I love to add some fresh berries to the top of it. Makes it look kind of nice and fresh. Makes a nice presentation and such a lovely light cake. And here we've got our moist, fluffy, tender angel food cake with a lovely kiss of vanilla flavor. Find the recipe on my website, lifeloveandsugar.com. Mm -hmm.